going, guys? Welcome back, Madden 16 PS4. Do me a favor, like button, subscribe button, criticism in the comment section, Twitter, shutdown safety is my username. This one could change the way you feel about Madden 16. A lot of examples. Please stick through it. Online gameplay. Myself, Johnny Redledge, he's the team that drafted him, the Arizona Cardinals. I'm the team I have no connection to, the Minnesota Vikings. First thing, not the point of the video, but I've got really educated viewers. If I don't bring it up, you guys are going to mention it, so let's just get it out of the way. When are we going to see the end of these Dracula Bite play action fakes? I'm asking for a touchdown here. Let me be clear with that. I don't care about the touchdown. I care about how it happened. I care that I can't fight for every yard, that I can't fight for every inch, that everything's animation driven in this game, and you really don't have the control that you think you do, or maybe we were thought we would get. So, if we talk about procedural awareness, I don't care if you've never played football, never watched football, I don't care if you can spell football. You should know the object of the game is to go to the player with the ball. So when I've got my linemen here staring at Carson Palmer off the play fake, to see him run, just to bring up the box, it's computer control, to run another three, four feet, to run in to the halfback before he goes up to barely miss the deflection that's going to go over as a touchdown here on the animation shift to basically put points on the board in the house that Bob built. That's a problem for me. You can't win with them. Okay, there's a children's book reference. There's an NFL coach reference. And I'm playing a former NFL player. Where else are you going to get this? I don't know. Let's take a look at this, though. Because this is the disheartener right here. Everything looks good. You know, Newman's out in front of Floyd. He's playing good. He's stride for stride. And then all of a sudden, here's where it starts to happen. 45-yard line. Why are we not running anymore? Why are we sliding? Why are we sliding five yards? What am I doing right now? I'm not playing the ball because I've turned my back. I'm not playing the receiver because he's just mossing on me. And honestly, these animations look way too smooth. My contention to you is that this is an animation recorded together, the wide receiver and the defensive back. And once they start to play, while there might be some variation, you don't have the control that you think you do. Because here's the thing, other than our arms going through each other, which is really just a clipping issue, and again, that's fine in a video game, this animation is practically seamless. Watch Floyd push off my face mask to push me down. Watch my arms try to tackle him. Watch him run through me. I mean, it, it literally looks perfect. And I think the reason it looks perfect is because this is one actual motion capture of two players together on the field. And once it happens, you don't have the control you think you do. He does some Odo Beckham Jr. catch to basically moss on me, run out of my tackle. And then before we watch the end, which you know what's going to happen, let's look at some other examples. In this example, you can see Toller comes in. And he tries to get his hand up. He actually successfully deflects the ball. It actually goes into his hand. And then all of a sudden the ball shifts up in front of the receiver. And there, rather than actually just falling to the ground, you're going to see it gets kind of suctioned right back into the receiver to complete an actual catch. The other interesting part of this play is actually that my safety, Bernard Pollard, is right in front of this. And even though he hits the receiver seconds after he catches the ball, it's still not doing anything to jar the ball loose. And just the one I do want to show you, it's speed right there, so you get a perception of what happens. In this example, you can see as T.Y. goes to the outside, there's a giant shift between the defensive back and the receiver that removes the separation that T.Y. has created, but then allows this, you know, basically beautiful catch animation to be made. And it looks very seamless, but I wonder how much it's being precipitated by this little bit of a shift right there and how much what we're seeing is actually just a combination of a motion capture recording between the defensive back and the wide receiver. In this example, you can see Adam Jones on the outside motion shifts around so that he can get in position to rather than undercut the route, actually just be able to turn his back and defend the pass. This leads into the seamless tackle animation also that pushes Dobson out of bounds. In this example, just note the position that Amaro and Irving are in. Irving has his back to the screen. Obviously, Amaro is in full stride. And what's going to happen is, in less than really two yards, they've both completely changed the football perception of what they're doing. Amaro uh, has both his feet together very tightly. Obviously, Irving has turned around and is going to go up in the air the opposite direction he had been facing. And they certainly have an animation here where they're meant to connect together. You can see the way Amaro starts to come to the ground. Irving kind of starts to brace himself off his helmet. But the other interesting part here is, as Bernard Pollard comes in, 
Amaro doesn't really have any grasp on this ball. It's really in a position that would be difficult even if you were to just hold a football, much less try to catch a football, it would be very difficult to do. And even though Pollard comes in here and basically hits the ball first and shoves his arm back into his chest, it has no bearing on the way the ball is actually held, caught, or basically brought into the receiver. And in this example, Pryor is covering Hilton over the top, and Pryor's actually able to stop and float back up to try to defend this pass and you can see that all his weight and momentum his speed is carrying to the left and then just the game decides he's going to stop and with no actual jump he just elevates to come up this pass is actually intended for colby fleener who's running in front of the screen now when the ball comes in it's caught initially but then knocked out as hilton goes to the ground that's here you see cromarty on hilton Running stride for stride, all of a sudden Cromarty right here is going to shift backwards and you can see he actually breaks his stride to do this. If you pay attention to his feet, all of a sudden his right leg right there breaks stride and shifts back behind T.Y. The intriguing thing is before this he's actually in a better position to defend this pass because he's actually in front of T.Y. When the animation shift happens right here, he actually gets behind him and then T.Y. is able to go up and catch this ball one-handed and then kind of get in a situation where it looks like Cromarty goes for the deflection but then catches T.Y.'s helmet, gets spun around as T.Y. runs up the field, and then obviously it's going to go in for a touchdown. But this is one giant seamless animation with just a little bit of a deflection in how Cromarty runs. And right, in this animation, Adam Jones is going to get a pass deflection after a reception. But the intriguing thing is the way these animations branch, he goes from running right here to where there's no actual contact with the ground. It looks like there is, but there's not. And what that does is allows him to close the distance here and then come in. And although it looks like it's going to be a one-handed catch, it actually turns in to a deflection. But again, all that is predicated on that subtle little motion shift that again makes me wonder if these aren't motion captured together as one animation to play out in sequence. In this last example, Graham is running across and actually gets held up and runs into Curly. And it disrupts the timing of the play so much that the ball comes in much further ahead of Graham than I'm sure the game intended. So to correct this, essentially what it does is it modifies the trajectory of the pass so that the ball starts to, and you can see right now just based on the way the NFL shield is, curl back to him and also straighten itself out in the other direction to facilitate him being able to complete the catch. All right, so with that in mind, I mean, it's bad enough that I'm getting beat by a former NFL player. Does he have to stun on me too? I don't know, guys. I'd love to know your opinions on this. Appreciate you checking it out. I'll be back later on with more content.